What's up, y'all? This is really up back with another video. Yes, and today we gotta talk about the Cleveland Cavaliers. That sounds so excited. We gotta talk about the Cavs, the rumors, my reaction, how we've been feeling, right? But before we get into that, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. you gotta smash that subscribe button because there's a lot of people I've noticed on my stats that's not followed to this to the channel. Y'all not subscribed, but y'all watch it. Why not hit that subscribe button so you can get more amazing content from me? You feel what I'm saying? You get to see me, you get to see Taz, you get to see Lo, and we got content on high hands. Why not? And when y'all are done with that, you need to hover over to that like button and smash that too so we can get these rankings to let us know about us come on all that being said i think it's only right for us to start off with my reaction to max because honestly max kind of is the reason why i took a back seat and just let everybody else make videos first because i just want i wanted to justify my reaction i wanted to justify and think about how i truly felt because immediately my reaction compared to twitter might be a little different I'm gonna be honest. Down in the comments, you can kill me if you feel like I'm just I'm I'm juicing it. I will be the first person to be like, all right, maybe maybe I'm tripping. From my perspective, right, I do think Kobe Altman overpaid for Max. He made some really good moves so far, you know. Gave a uh, Karis LeVert extension, you know. He made moves that you would kind of expect. Um, but the Max one, we did need a shooter. Let's 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 talk about that first. We did need a shooter. He filled that need. Kobe Altman does deserve applaud for that. He de he deserves that, but. I think we overpaid like down in the comment let me know how y'all feel about it but let's be real i think we could have got somebody of his magnitude for cheaper that's very telling when you see even miami itself didn't want to give him that type of money and they went to the finals maybe the money was just a little too much but like i said we'll see you know he is a sniper nonetheless he is a player that is going to create spacing for donovan mitchell darius garland especially and evan mobley that's gonna be amazing as of right now i'm a little i'm a little cautious i want to see how it is how jb kind of fixed that but we overpay for bro um is he a good shooter absolutely but for what we could have gotten with that money eh. they thought that i was dead but i keep coming back ain't no running if you look you know where we at turn the hell into a win like i'm deserving it and then of course i also want to talk about miles bridges because i made a video about miles bridges saying that the cleveland cavaliers was planning on signing him Right, uh, it was a lot of tips and sources that was saying Cleveland was going to get Bridges. Then unfortunately he signed. Now, obviously we did technically lose him in free agency, but it is still a lot of rumors that saying that the Cleveland Cavaliers still are on the radar of Miles Bridges via trade and still free agency, but for next season. When you look at Miles Bridges, he is a player that I think we could plug in the Cleveland Cavaliers system and he will be fine. I do think Miles Bridges is somebody we should look after and we should monitor. I do think that. I think he actually wants to be a Cav and uh, I do believe that the Cavs would want him on there. Now, if it's a trade, if it's a trade, this is where the Cavs have a lot more options because yes, the Hornets are probably gonna ask for some asses back, let's be real. A player that good, that talented, that young, Charlotte should expect something in return. Now, his contract is not in the Charlotte Hornets' favor. At 7.9, that's where it gets tricky because now a Cavs can say, I'm not giving you that, that type of talent because you're going to have to match some talent with 7.9. You're going to have to give us a decent player or two to match uh, whatever we're going to send forth, right? And that's where it's in our favor. But at the same time... Um, when you do something like that, that's where it gets tricky. Probably going to have to get a third and fourth team involved. And honestly, I don't think the Cavs really want to get in a situation where we're going to add a third and fourth team because, like I said, that's when it gets weird. And I do believe we can we can get it done without a third and fourth, but it makes it cleaner with a third and fourth team. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, <laughs> I know what I'm saying, like I said, but... We do want Miles Bridges on the Cavs. It's rumored that we're still in the running for Miles Bridges and that we're eyeing him, right? And as well, surprise, 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 Miles Bridges is signed by, you know who his agent is? Rich Paul. So you also know he's going to get paid. <laughs> he's going to get paid.
That's Atlantis with that money.